Welcome to Microsoft Power Apps training videos. In this video, we'll discuss uh, Power Platform environment. And also, we have a different scopes also in the Power App environments and that we'll discuss. And uh, we have a permissions on the environment as well. And uh, when we are creating environments, we have a different type of environments that we'll discuss. First, we'll see exactly what is environment is. So when we create, uh, when we start working with the Power Platform and we can able to see a, a default environment on the Power Platform. So for that, I'll try to go to Office uh, homepage. From here, when I'm trying to open the Power Apps, here it, it starts with the URL like make.powerapp.com slash environment slash default. So this default environment will create by default when you create, uh, when you start working with the Power Platform and uh, here you can able to create a different environment actually this environment will help you to you know store your applications or to manage your applications or maybe share this application within your organization uh, employees and also this is basically a space to show, store your applications uh, your chatbots and also your flows everything we can able to maintain in an environment and here and it, it basically acts as in a separate container uh, for your applications and also you can able to uh, share and you can able to target the audience into a specific environment as well. For example, if you are working for any development environment and you will have a three different uh, types of environments, it would be a development environment. So once you've done your development, you have to move that to your UIT or a testing environment. Finally, if everything goes well and you'll move that to the production, the same manner you can able to create it you can able to create three different environments also in the power apps you can develop somewhere you can test somewhere and you can move that to the production into a different environments so uh, before letting that actually where where this power app environment will create uh, that is actually creates under a azure active directory tenant and which is actually a, a place where uh, you can access by the users within that specific tenant and also uh, you can you can create an environment based on the geographical location as well and uh, you can you can create the applications or you can create the flows and you can create your chatbots and you, you can group together and then you can uh, deploy into a different environments so to create this environment and we have a, a direct option from here uh, if you go to the admin from the admin and if you click this show all admin centers you can able to see this power apps when we click this power apps it opens admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and this is actually the power platform admin center you can see power platform admin center for this tenant now here if i go to the environments i have two environments in this one is russian production environment and we have Russian solution environment. So if you want to create a new environment, you can uh, able to create from here. When you click this new, and now you can able to see this option name, region, couple of options are coming and I'll keep the feedback later. And before that, we'll see the permissions as well. So if anyone have, I close this one, which is not closing, okay. So meanwhile, we'll discuss about the permissions. We have two different type of permissions are uh, available or a built-in permission roles are available for the environments. One is the environment admin and who have an environment admin role, they can able to perform the complete administrative actions like uh, they can able to create the environments, they can able to remove the environments, they can able to add the users or groups into a environment admin as well and also they can provision the data was data table and uh, they can manage all the resources which is created under the environment and also they can able to set up the dlp policies for the power platform admin as well and another user is uh, another role is environment maker and with that permission they can able to create the resources within the environment that including all the flows connections maybe uh, apps and they can use the connectors they can use the gateways everything they can able to use uh, if the user have an environment maker so i am the admin for this tenant so that's why i can um, i can able to do that 
so which is not closing what we'll do is we'll give some which is not responding okay we'll give the feedback letter meanwhile we'll create a uh, environment here so i'll create an environment is Russian solutions um, test environment actually i want to create so here we have a region and uh, we are in india so i'm selecting this and the type is sandboxed and uh, the sandbox is, is a place where you can simply create your application you want to reset your environment you can able to reset so which helps as in a testing environment uh, for a temporary basis and we have different type one is a trial so which is on a subscription based and we have another trial if you if you select this one and which will come uh, for a 30 days trial and if you select this as a production it would be in a production environment now i want to create a sandboxed environment here and the purpose you can describe the purpose here and what purpose you are creating this sandboxed one you can describe here and here create a database for this environment yes i want to create a database for this environment in the dataverse and here we have pay as you go with azure oh, i don't want to go with this subscription plan so here to create an environment and we have to give a name region type purpose and then if you want to create a database you can able to create a database as well the environments will have a separate databases so you can keep your data there inside the environment and which will be accessed within the environment uh, uh, like uh, who uh, who have access to that environment they can able to access so this way you can able to create a different environments to maintain your solutions and also maintain your applications and flows i'll click next done so which is asking a language now i'm selecting english united states or you can select english india and which is a url if you have any unique domain name will be generated if you want to generate this one you can click here but i don't want to do that the currency is inr and if you want to enable the dynamics 365 apps in addition to the power apps you can click yes deploy the sample apps and data if you want to do that you can click yes but i don't want the sample apps and here we have a security group and restrict the environment access to people in this group otherwise everyone can able to access i only have a couple of users so that's why i'm not gonna uh, you know select a specific uh, security groups here and if in the real time if you are working with an, a specific organization if you are now if, if you have any requirement to uh, add the specific security groups you can able to add the specific security group to access this environment or otherwise all the people they can all the people who are inside your tenant they can able to access if of course if they have an access to uh, you know maintain these applications they can able to see other people cannot able to see I'm clicking save and it will create an environment but here this environment can't be created because your your organization tenant needs at least one gigabyte of database capacity so what I'll do is I'll go back here I don't want to create a database I just want to create this I'll save this one I'll try to save okay so anyhow uh, here I don't have this one so that's why it is not creating I'll just monitor the capacity of it which is occupied okay what I'll do is meanwhile so we'll discuss how to remove the existing one and I have this one I have this one and which is only the trial I have taken and uh, what I'll do is I'll try to delete this one okay no problem uh, I want a new one sorry which is the name We'll try to confirm this one once it is deleted and we'll see we'll try to create the new one and okay maybe which is taking time now i'll enter the name as ok 
okay we'll save this one okay which is not cleared out so what i'll do is i'll try to create a new one russian solutions test with not a sandboxed one we'll try to create a trial and save this one okay now it is created the this one is new one is created but i cannot able to create a sandbox one because of the data uh, related issue but if you are working in the real time you won't get that type of data related issues because uh, you know we i have not purchased an enough data space in this environment so that's why it's not able to create here but this way you can able to create the environments so once you create the environment if you open this one you can able to see the information which is related to this environment now the type which is in a trial and refresh is frequent and region is india purpose is not specified we are and this is the environment id so now in this environment for example uh, I want to create an applications so if you go to here when you click this environment now you can able to see the different type of environments one is Russian solution another one is Russian solution production another one is Russian solutions test if you select this one and if you go to the apps you cannot able to see any apps here because we are not created anything yet but if you go to this Russian solutions default one if you go to the apps now you can able to see the plenty of applications which we created and deployed and uh, if you go to this one we don't have anything if you go to apps you can able to see nothing so if you want to create a new application you can able to create a new canvas application will, which will be add to your environment and uh, this way you can able to create a different type of environment and also once we create the uh, solutions for example if i go to this default one i have a couple of applications which i created and deploy and this may be i used for the development environment now i want a separate environment should be used only for the production i don't want to give an edit option to the end user in that particular one so we can able to create a solutions for that now here if you click this one and we have an option named it as solutions and this here you can able to create a solutions and you can export the solutions from this environment to another environment which we created so that's a uh, most important thing in the environments and which will be helpful to you know the solutions will be helpful to move the applications from one place to another place and also it will restrict the end user to uh, you know modify and edit the applications that will also helpful to the end users to you know secure their applications that will discuss in the upcoming videos